Hi, I'm uh, Punita Rajan, um, Rita's my wife. <laughs> we live in Subang Jaya, Baha'i community. Uh, and yes, it's a very vibrant community over here. I was quite impressed with the, the Baha'i chants that I used to hear from the CD ladder. It was nice and I used to pick up the tunes and um, sing to them. I find that the kids memorize prayers through chanting very easily. Both our wishes is that um, they will serve uh, the humanity and uh, the Baha'i faith uh, through music. And I uh, used to tell them, you can't carry the piano along with you, but certainly you can carry a keyboard and guitar, so please pick up <laughs> and a violin too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> something portable so that wherever you go and teach and serve, you can play the music. Abdul Baha, who is actually um, is the master or the son of Prophet, um, he actually has uh, said that uh, Music is um, uh, food for the soul. It, it, you feel so joyful when you're in, in music because the, the soul is really feeling that, and especially if it's mixed with uh, the words of God. So currently, the you know the system of education is something that the Baha'is are addressing all over the world. Fundamentally, we believe that material and social education alone is not enough and that spiritual education is much needed to help people to become a better person. The activities that the Baha'i community is engaged in is currently uh, like anywhere else in the world uh, in, in taking the teachings of Baha'u'llah and applying it to the transformation and the building of a new civilization. We have uh, four different activities that we feel are the, basically the building blocks, the bricks for this new civilization. Things like devotional meetings, devotional gatherings where people gather together. Doesn't matter what religious denomination they are, praying together. And we also have uh, education processes that we do, uh, right up from children up to the adults. From ages 5 to about 10, we have the children's classes. Following that, we have these junior youth programs from the age of 11 to 14. And then from 15 then on up to whatever age, we have got another education process which we call the Ruhi programs. When this begins to multiply in every uh, neighbourhood, then we will see the growth and transformation among the individuals and society for the oneness of mankind that has been promised in the Baha'i faith. the syllabus that uh, children class uh, teachers here use to teach the children. For lesson one, we will start with prayer and then we will teach the children songs and then we will ask them to memorize a quotation contains good virtues. For example, truthfulness, kindliness, humility, generosity and so on. After that, uh, we will play games with them. These games is basically cooperative games that needs them to, to tolerate with friends, uh, to be cooperative, to be understanding. And then uh, after the games, they will colour a picture related to the quotation that they have learnt in their class. <laughs> 